Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. My name is Rasta Designer and I hope you're doing well. You know him as the CEO and the founder of Amazon. So today I'm going to show you about 5 things you need to know about the wonderful and the incredible Jeff Bezos. Well, there's a lot of things you need to know about him and I'm really glad to show you about it. If you need to find anything on the internet, well, you're gonna find it on Amazon. Amazon is one of the biggest company in the world and also did you know that Jeff Bezos is one of the richest person in the world if you know it please tell me run and comment below so before start video make sure you subscribe and like to my youtube channel because there's a lot of things are going to come and if you subscribe you won't miss anything so you know what better to stick around and let's see what's going on because you always deserve it Number 5. No PowerPoint presentation at Amazon team meeting. Instead of boring presentation where people need to sit and listen carefully, sometimes you often fall asleep. Well, Jeff Bezos came with an idea. All team meetings start to a 30 minutes of reading from this topic. So everyone has a single individual thought. So people can share their ideas to upgrade the company and make it better. So this kind of concept encourage critical thinking. So that's how Amazon will always rise. Number 4. The first book was shipped from Jeff Bezos' garage. In 1995, the book Fluid Concepts and Creative Analogies became the first book bought from Amazon. There were no huge big warehouse in those days. It was packaged and dispatched from Bezos himself. So the person who bought this book, well, you're really lucky. Number three, the original name of Amazon. Amazon has so many names that before Amazon.com. The first name was Kadabra, like Abracadabra. It was chosen by Bezos as the name for his book selling website. He changed the name because it sounds cadaver for him. He bought a new domain and he called it Renetless and he changed again to AARD.com, but it doesn't sound good, so he decided to call it amazon.com in 1995 so this is the name that we all know today number two he's really tough he's a really tough boss because he got a multi-billionaire company in his hands so obviously he need to be extremely tough to maintain it tech startups are assumed to be social and relaxed places amazon doesn't like this trust me bezos prefer adversarial atmosphere where there's a lot of competition and it's not relaxed at all Everybody is working to make sure that customers are getting what they needed. He doesn't like when a customer complains on his staff when they leave a question mark. Obviously, right? And number one, he cares about customers' feedback. He cares about your feedback most of the time. Let me tell you a little story. An elderly woman gives a complaint to Amazon because she waits so long 
before her nephew opens the package for her. So in response, Jeff Bezos redesigned the rollout. Also, for helping staff understanding the buying process, every staff members spend two days every two years working in the customer service department. Even Jeff Bezos is included. So you guess it. They are working so hard to give you what you really needed. So. Thank you so much. My name is Ross Designer, and I hope that you enjoy this video, and I hope that you learned something today. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's a lot of things are going to come, and if you subscribe, you won't miss anything. So thank you so much. My name is Ross Designer, and see you next time.